Now that we've covered the factors of production and we've covered the different types of economies, it's time to put the two together to form a basic visual representation of the way a market economy works, the circular flow diagram. To start with, you have three separate entities, households, firms, and the government. Firms sell goods and services to the households, and, in return, the households pay them with money. That's called the goods market. However, the households get that money by providing the factors of production, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship, to the firms. That's called the factor market. And the firms pay the households back in the form of wages. So you see, the money goes from the households to the firms in the form of payments for goods, and goes from the firms to the households in the form of wages. The government gets money from both groups in the form of taxes, income taxes and sales taxes. However, the government gives that money back to the firms in the form of government purchases of services and goods, and gives it back to the households in the form of transfer payments, such as welfare, social, social security, or government subsidies. And there you have it, the circular flow diagram. Let's take an example. John is a farmer who grows wheat. He sells his wheat to a company that makes bread. With the money he earned from selling his wheat, John buys food to feed him and his family, including bread from the company he sold his wheat to. The company then can use the money gained from the sale of their bread to buy more wheat, and the cycle continues. The government imposes a sales tax on the bread that the bread company sells, and it imposes an income tax on the money that John made from selling his wheat. With that money, the government buys bread from the bread company in order to feed the army and government officials, and the government also needs more wheat, so it, it gives John a subsidy for wheat. Basically, it gives his money to grow wheat. Now, this is a simplified version of the way a market economy works, but the circular flow diagram is useful for showing in a neat way how the economy runs and sustains itself.